A high-powered delegation led by the Speaker of Parliament, Theo Zirino, accompanied the Bible from the USA to Port Moresby. Awaiting them were anxious believers who packed the Jackson's International Airport to have a glimpse of the priceless treasure. Reverend Joseph Walters received the Bible from the delegation and proceeded to the main stage with many believers scrambling to have a feel of it. As the antique took center stage, there was jubilation with songs and dances. The Prime Minister Peter O'Neill arrived minutes later to join the delegation, including the opposition leader Don Pollier. Speaker Theo Zureno urged the government to lead the country governed by biblical principles. Prime Minister, we need moral values more than anything else in this nation. And you will find that the Bible is the only source that contains those values more than any other faith document. If you want to fight corruption, if you want peace, and if you want good order, and if you want discipline, if you want to build a national nation with national patriotism, then you better teach morality. Zureno told critics not to stir hatred in the hearts of the people, but to focus on the rationale behind this prophetic move. Prime Minister and leaders of the nation, unfortunately, it, it is a sad and degrading reality that certain institutions in the media fraternity of our nation seem to be either ignorant or deliberately promoting negative ideas. I am of the view that many a time there is a deliberate intention to misinform the masses simply for the sake of their own economic conveniences. They disregard their own professional ethics and they fail the basic practice of moral responsibility. They seem to promote disunity and concentrate on one of their favorite agenda, and that is to provoke hatred for leadership in our people's minds and hearts. SPNG prepares to celebrate 40 years of independence, which to many believers is a prophetic time. The Bible represents a transition. It is indeed. 40 years since independence, this year is a defining year for Papua New Guinea as a country develops. Receiving this Bible today adds to the sense of significance as we define our nation and as we define this year when we continue to develop our nation. Our Christian faith is of great importance to all our people in our country as it is for many other countries. As our good speaker stated, the first president of the United States, George Washington, once said, the world cannot be governed without God and the Bible. The Bible will visit the government house before arriving at its final resting place, the Parliament House, where it will be kept as a national treasure for the people of Papua New Guinea. Mickey Cavera, National MTV News.